Oh, urine. Fecal matter. <laughs> Gross. Well, that's why it smells. It's rocking. I hope they're not rocking that much. <laughs> I'm not sold on it. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. Welcome back to our channel. We just got back from the Big Island yesterday and we are already on our boat getting things done in our new slip. So I'm going to give you an official tour of our new slip and go through some of the projects first that we're going to be working on in the next couple of weeks. So there are a few projects that were inspired from the tiny house that we stayed in on the Big Island. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I did a little tour of the tiny house, but there's some things that that tiny house had that inspired some things for this boat. So the first thing is a composting toilet. We saw a composting toilet at the tiny house and we are going to do a composting toilet one because sometimes the toilet systems here just smell and it's a whole bunch of different pipes and truly the composting toilet there was so awesome that Seth is going to build one for our bathroom. The second thing that was inspired by the tiny house is the color and just the finishes. The finishes of the tiny house were so immaculate that it just really truly made living small really comfortable. So if you notice the cabinets and all the finishes are just very colorful and very warm and like more inviting and cozy. So the thing I don't like about this boat is so much wood. It's very like old looking it's from 1977 and that's okay so if you are someone who loves wood when you hear what I'm gonna say you're gonna probably pass out so pause this video go grab a glass of water and then skip a minute no just kidding you'll be fine um, so I'm going to paint so behind me you'll notice some of this white here it's very it's very yellowish so that's the first thing I'm gonna paint we have exterior white paint and I'm gonna really freshen it up and I think the white will make the wood look really great as well as we're going to get new cushions that I'm working on as well and some pillows and just making this space more homey. I think for me, making it feel like a home and nesting, I'm really excited to get my hands in on it, get these cushions, get some really fun pillows that I saw at a Hawaiian store nearby. So that's that. I'll paint this white as well as all of this will be a fresh white. And lastly, the last project that we just did, I'm gonna show you right now, is we installed an AC unit. So you can see the stairs right here have quite a bit of space in the back. So we're utilizing that space right now to put the AC unit. So we just plugged it in, it's 88 degrees in here. 88 degrees. I'm still a little, a little sweaty, but. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you a tour of the boat slip and let's get going. Eventually, again, I'm going to do blue, kind of blue throughout, same with the cushions. So my next project is to install this. This is going to help it so that when we have glasses and plates, they're not going to skid everywhere if we are selling. It's just going to help. Plus, it's going to cover some of the spots that are just not so great looking. I also was inspired by the tiny house to have just like a few really awesome pieces. So I brought some of my pottery pieces that I love, and I'm going to get rid of all my glasses and just do a little pottery. This is like... A local um, kind of mug get a little smiley and it comes with these little top lids so really versatile so I have a couple of those and I'm just I brought them to the boat today because we're not moving in moving in yet but getting some of our stuff so we can actually operate now that we have power so I'm gonna have a few really great pieces and this is gonna keep them so they don't break all right it's looking good is this a high priority project absolutely not am I doing it anyways yes why because I'm nesting. Everything within. Oh. 
So that's filling up our water tanks with our new hose that we brought. All right, so Seth is finagling the AC unit because what was happening is the AC was pumping out and the hot air was being transmitted through the pipe out of the boat. But what was happening is that pipe that was taking the hot air, which is good, was unfortunately heating up the boat a little bit. So it's kind of counteractive. So it got a little cooler, but you can still see, still sweating. Okay, so when Seth is doing that, we actually ordered and just brought the mattress. Here, it's a queen size mattress, so we're gonna kind of set it up because Seth is gonna stay the night tonight because he works right across the street and has work tomorrow, so it's gonna be easy for him to stay here and go to work. But what we are eventually going to do is make this bed bigger. So we're gonna kind of extend this bed so it's gonna be all one big bed because right now, that's a little small. So we're gonna kind of extend that in the future. We'll probably have to cut some of this down and kind of build it, and then we'll have to get another mattress and kind of put them together. swings up really high so it covers like half the wall it's a little big all right when the waves get rocking i hope they're not rocking that much <laughs> oh boy big conk and eggs if that's the case what do you think about adding another thing do you think it'll work best i just don't know how you would lay <clears throat> well i would lay with my head there and then like this lengthwise this short. but i i laid there and my legs like not too tall, so it works. They're just, I think, be better so we're not all up in each other's business because it's pretty small. And this pole doesn't really help. I'm not That's sold on it. Fantastic. There's a lot of room up here. Yeah, there is. More than you think, want to lay it down. Yeah, and it's not too high where we're, I feel like our heads are stuck in the. You could actually sit on it like a couch. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. It's like a futon. Yeah. And it's really comfortable. I mean, you yeah, and then we could put pillows head. on it, kind of like a little couch. You don't have a headroom, but I mean, if you wanted to work in here for a little bit, part of your day. Ooh, or, yeah, I like that idea. Or Ooh. watch, or, or I mean, we could watch a movie. Ooh, yeah, we could put a TV there or set up something. All right, so the new AC system is installed. It will be a little challenging if we have to get to the engine room, but for now, um, and when we're sailing. But for right now, when we're in the slip and we're doing projects, it works. It was getting a little hot, and I know that sounds very high maintenance. Not a lot of people have AC on their boats. But we are in the direct sunlight on the drier side of the island, and it was getting a little toasty. It was, like, getting to the point where it was really hard to even function. Like, even sitting down, I was just, and I sweat more. But I was, like, dripping here. I don't know if you saw in some of the other videos, I'd always, like, be wiping my upper lip. My hair would be soaked. I'd be like taking off my shirt and just working in a sports bra because it was just so hot. So it's feeling good. Got a shirt on. I can actually have my hair down for a second. And a little more comfortable feeling like you can actually like live or sleep in here. I didn't even think it would be possible to sleep. I think I'd have a heat stroke. It was getting real hot. So um, I'm not exaggerating. It was really, really hot. So luckily we have the AC system kind of in. It's still a little bit warm, but it's definitely a comfortable temperature where if we turned on the stove, we wouldn't like die completely. So it's getting there and it's feeling a little more com comfortable. So it's coming along. So the next project I'm gonna do is I need to take pictures of our cushions and take some dimensions so that I can kind of play around on some websites and see what prices would be, what it would look like, and how much they cost to ship to Hawaii if I go from like a website location. Our lights work now. 
Ooh, nice. Also, is this court system going to be Oh, long -term? it's great. <laughs> Seems no, it's like it's in my space. For now, it's all right, but I wish, I wish there was like an outlet right there. It would be so much easier, you know? Oh, true. All right, so I stored some of our pots in a pan, and then I have some of these little dish towels, and I put some of the rags in this little bin. And I put our plates and bowls in the containers, and this seems to be holding it. They seem to, this one I might need to take out, but these seem to be pretty tight in there here for selling. Put the contact paper down, and I actually removed, if you remembered in the beginning of the video, two doors that looked like this, and I removed them. And this isn't going to work for sailing because these glass mugs are going to move all over the place. However, I really like how you can see the exposed wood paneling. So I'll, this is fine for now, but eventually I will do some type of way so that the mugs can kind of be in a little container, but it just looks a little bit more clean. Also opens it up a lot because visually you don't have these covering it. So this is good for up here, but down here I actually really like it without the cupboard doors. Plus, the cupboard doors were really hard sliding. They're not the best. They're all right. These ones are okay. But the track is old. And the track on this one was much worse. All right. The toilet, yep. Toilet removal is starting. I am looking forward to getting rid of this because it sure does smell. It doesn't smell great. And all this is just weird. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna go get the bin. Alright, so when Seth is finishing up those projects, I'm gonna actually head out because I have an hour drive home. He's gonna stay the night in our new, what do people call it on the subway? Birth? In our new birth. I'm just gonna call it a bedroom. Everybody hammers me in the comments, but <laughs> I'm just gonna call it a bedroom. In our bedroom and our V-birth. <laughs> But he's gonna, hopefully it works. It's feeling a lot cooler now that we have the new setup and that will be helpful for sleeping. So pretty good, organized, feeling a little bit better. I'm measuring, but unfortunately the measurements are kind of off because the shapes are kind of weird. So I need to come back another day, really fine tune the measurements before we actually place an order because right now they're like super weird shapes. So we'll see. So hopefully you sleep well. All right, folks. So as you can tell, it's pretty late. Uh, right now, so it is. I don't even know what time. It is 9:15 at night. The sun is set. So uh, good news about being on shore power, though, is we now have lights. So that's nice. We got the AC going, so it feels pretty good in here. Cooling down, definitely since the sun went down. And uh, got my bed over here, made, ready to go. Our new mattress filled right up, so that should work out for tonight. And then I have been finally, I was able to get the toilet out. All right, so some of our lights have gone out, so we'll have to replace those light bulbs. But so finally, I was able to get the toilet out. So now this is the bathroom. Was one of the more discuss that was one of the more disgusting jobs I've done because it was not clean. And it smelled terrible. But clean that up and I just got the toilet bowl and the pipes that were going to the toilet um, taken care of, all tackled the holding tank and uh, those pipes um, on another day. So uh, that'll be another day's project. We'll have to move the mattress and get underneath there to get the holding tank and the, some of those pipes out of there um, before we move to the composting toilet <clears throat> but uh, that's where we're at right now um, so now I'm gonna probably uh, make something to eat and just relax a little bit before going to bed and then uh, yeah first night at the boat I mean, we're at the dock, so it's nothing's crazy. <laughs> so it's pretty chill. And we have power, so that helps too. Hey guys, we just got to the boat. 
for another day of some projects and I'm gonna run to the store to fill up the propane tank so that we can make our first dinner on the boat and we got here though and it's super windy like we have never seen it here at the marina this windy and so super rocky if you can see the boats kind of moving a little bit all right well the waves are pretty crazy we put the dinghy up and we did some of those things I'm gonna show you our new life vest that we got total suck of a day if that's if I can say that I went to go get propane and the guy couldn't get the the regulator part off if that's what it's called so I couldn't get propane which means we couldn't make dinner <laughs> so we need to go do that another day so we got these these are from blue storm we got set this one this is at atmos 40 and then I got this one which I really like the pattern it's really hard to see because of the lighting but we got these so mine is the Stratus 35, 35 pounds of buoyancy, sets is 40. These were a pretty penny, I think they were about $150 a piece. There were some other ones that we were looking into but they didn't really ship to Hawaii and if they did then they cost a lot. So these were a good happy medium in terms of the price, shipping, it was pretty good. So pretty exciting. What is interesting about it though and what I need to do is it says on here warning device is not armed read instructions owner manual and arm properly prior to use so i need to read this i don't think honestly today kind of was the worst so i'm not feeling like reading this right now so that is on my to-do list so i'm going to keep this attached but i thought this was pretty cool the reason we got the, these is because when we're selling you probably at least i should i'm very clumsy sh and I mean, Seth isn't clumsy, but we should be wearing life vests. And I think the stereotypical life vest where it's like the big red, yellow ones, you put it on. It's really, A, I feel like very warm, B, very not functional. So these are really great. That way, if you do fall in the water, I believe, don't quote me. This is not an instruction. I haven't read the instruction manual. You'd pull this, it would inflate, and then it would be better. But yeah, they're pretty light and... I just feel like they'd be easier to get around the boat. I do want to get eventually one of those like hooks that hook you to the boat because I know that for sure based on my track record of just like getting bruises and stuff I'm gonna fall overboard. So okay. All right so we're gonna show you what we did with the toilet. These I'm gonna use this flashlight because these lights don't work so we are working on getting a composting toilet like I said it was inspired by the tiny house that we stayed at so we removed the toilet completely and Oh, urine. Fecal matter. <laughs> Gross. Well, that's why it smells. I was not made aware of that. So, this is going to be the new home of the composting toilet. And, yeah, I think this is actually a pretty good height. Your feet can rest comfortably flat. <laughs> okay. So, we'll need to clean this and tidy that up. Anyways, so we're gonna make a really nice enclosed wood toilet <laughs> area so that way we can have the bucket there and do the composting but then at the same time it will be kind of nice looking not just like a Home Depot bucket. But what we also need to do is get composting mixture which was another strikeout of the day. I could not find it so I'm gonna have to order um, coconut core, C-O-I-R, it's like ground husks of the coconut and then there is Again, something else I can't pronounce, dichotomous earth, as well as pine shaving. So you kind of make a mixture. When we were at the tiny house, they had a really big bucket and you just kind of scooped it. We need to get creative because I don't really know where we're going to put all of that together, where we can scoop it, because the bathroom's kind of small, so we can't have like a huge tub in there. So more to come. Let's go watch the sunset. <laughs> 